Hi, I'm Brandy from the Chef Anne Foundation, and today we will be making mashed potatoes using a combi oven and a large Hobart mixer. Making fresh mashed potatoes with real ingredients is not only a great alternative to common box mashed potatoes, but it's also an easy way to introduce scratch cooking to your district. And fun tip, you don't have to worry about taking the time to peel your potatoes. In fact, leaving the skin on adds extra nutrients and saves you both time and labor. So let's head to the prep sink and get started. Now we're ready to wash our potatoes for our mashed potatoes. I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes. We're gonna fill our sink with cold water, dump our potatoes in. It's really important that you're starting with clean potatoes. So if you have dirty potatoes, make sure you're using a vegetable brush if need be. I'm just gonna drain my sink and move my clean potatoes into a pan. Now that we have clean potatoes, let's head over to the cutting board for our next step. And now it's time to cut our potatoes for cooking. You don't wanna spend a ton of time on this, but you do wanna make sure that they're all about the same size so that they're cooking evenly. Fortunately, some of my potatoes I won't have to cut because they're this size. Some of them I'll just simply cut in half and other larger ones I'll have to quarter. I'm using a perforated pan because I'm going to be cooking my potatoes in the steamer. The perforated pan will help the potatoes cook evenly and allow the moisture to escape. Now that our potatoes are cut evenly, they're ready to be cooked. I'm going to be using the steamer method on my combi oven to cook them. If you're doing a smaller size batch, you can use a stove top. You can also cook your potatoes in boiling water in a tilt skillet or a steam jacket kettle. You wanna cook the potatoes completely through. It'll take about 30 minutes in my steamer. Now that our potatoes are fully cooked, it's time to add them to the mixer. Using a large floor model mixer really saves you time when you're doing large batch cooking. The batch of mashed potatoes that I'm making today is 125 servings. And now it's time to add our ingredients. There's really only four ingredients that go into this. I'm using real fresh butter that I've melted, 1% milk, salt, and pepper. Always close the safety mechanism on your mixer. Then I'm going to raise the bowl up, and then we'll get the mixer going on the lowest speed possible. Once your potatoes are starting to mash, increase the speed by one step. One of the most important steps in cooking is tasting as you go to see if you need to adjust the seasoning. It's especially important when you're cooking in large batches. Have some tasting spoons nearby so that you can taste your mashed potatoes throughout the process. Release the safety shield and using your tasting spoon one time, taste the mashed potatoes for seasoning. And finally, I'm going to be using a scoop to remove my mashed potatoes from the mixer, placing it into a hotel pan. That will hold the potatoes in a steamer or a hot box for quite a while. They also reheat really well if you're not serving them until the next day. Today we used Yukon Gold potatoes for our mashed potatoes. Those provide a nice color and a creamy texture. You can also use red skin potatoes or white potatoes if you have those available for mashed potatoes as well. Scratch Hook mashed potatoes are a great healthy home style addition to your menu. We hope you enjoyed this recipe and easy tips for scratch cooking. Check out our website for more information. Thanks for watching.